I saw this video the other day and it really shocked me. So this man is a pedophile and after serving his time, he got on an interview and they asked him, what do you look for in a child that you want to take advantage of? And one of the things he said was he wanted to make sure the child was a loner by himself, wouldn't really tell anyone. Uh, if he had strong faith, there was also one of those things where it's like, ah, maybe not target that kid. But the third one, which really got me, was he would look at the father figure. And if the father looked like a threat, he wouldn't go after the kid. So I'm a big proponent of looking and being strong physically so you can defend your family preemptively, like in this case, or in case something were to actually happen, you could actually do something and use your strength in a good way to protect your family. But there's also a third reason I believe fathers should be in shape, and that's to create memories with your kids. Now, I have a lot of memories of my dad sitting ringside. I have memories of him doing all the coaching. And some of my favorite memories, though, were outside of Taekwondo. There was a period of time where my dad and I got uh, really, really into airsofting. So airsofting is pretend uh, firearms. You shoot BBs at each other, and then you just honestly call your hits. And if you don't, people shoot you more, and it hurts a lot. So generally, you call your hits. So it was me, my dad, a couple of my cousins. And we had a lot of fun because my dad liked to study history. And he liked to study wars and tactics. So it was, it was literally like having a general by your side. And so in these games, we'd get these maps. We'd plot out our attacks. We'd, be, we'd, we'd get uh, objectives by the game officials, et cetera. And there's one particular one, which I think goes down as our favorite of all time, where there's a village. And to get to the village, we, the object of the game is to attack the village. We need to take, our force needs to take the village from the other group. Now, along this front side, there's a wall and some trees and places for cover, right? Then there's about 50 yards of open field and then the village. And then to the back, though, there's a giant, long, like a slopes hill that goes up. And I would say it's like, oh, probably like 400, 800 yards, pretty far. And besides that, there's that's it. This is just village in the clearing. And we were trying to think about what the best way to assault it was because if it's just village to the tree line, we we could we could have a firefight, right? But then uh, they would just go to their respawn and come back. We'd just go to our respawn and come back. And we, would, my dad knew we needed a pincer move. Luckily, all of us were young and athletic, and so we sent four of us, four or five of us. He said, "What I want you guys to do is here's the village. We're going to be here. I want you guys to go all the way around the hill, and when you get to the top of the hill." I want you to get over there and radio us. And once you radio us, we're going to launch an attack and we're going to take that village. And so we hike and it's dry grass and we're, we have all of our gear in our camp camo and we go around, right? We go around the top of the hill and we're not ready because we just hiked up this giant hill with a steep, steep grade and we poke our heads at the top. And we're too far for our radios to be working, right? So we look over there. And um, and my dad launches the attack. We the BBs are the BBs start flying. And one of the coolest memories I remember of seeing my dad was in between the, the tree line and the um, and the village, there's that open space. I could see my dad run out to the open space and he's carrying the heaviest gun. He has the saw. And so he gets on one knee and he's just da, 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 and he's like keeping suppressing fire on all the walls. And my brothers uh, who are with him uh, kind of flank to the side and they know they already know the attack pattern. They create as many angles as possible, like try and hit the walls and hit people at the edge of the walls. And they hold out. And I remember seeing that really like I was like, guys, we got to go. And so we start we start running down the hill and the whole time we're running down this hill. We're hoping no one sees us because there's no cover. Remember, we're coming down this way and there's no cover here, just flat land. And as we're getting closer, we don't hear any BBs whizzing by. So I we go, we think the uh my dad's distraction is working because everyone in the village is trying to fight this frontal force now. So we get there and we take out our um uh, our airsoft gun, we start shooting everyone in the back, and we take the village, and I think probably what took like five minutes. And I think to this day, my, if you ask my dad about airsofting and the experiences, he's going to bring that specific one up. And that's one of my favorite memories. And the reason I bring that up, though, is because, number one, it was really awesome to have a really competent uh, dad in this area because he could 
he was the one who directed the whole play. He, he knew when to coordinate. He knew how to attack. He knew how to like, have all the angles. But number two, it was really exciting because it wasn't just my dad doing an armchair quarterback. My dad was on the field with us. He was fit enough to h- climb up the hill to get that initial tree line. He was fit enough to get to the middle quickly enough and start laying down suppressive fire. It was, uh, it was, it was fit enough to carry that uh, airsoft gun. It's not a light gun. So it was really cool to have that memory of my dad watching him lead. And that's something I realized that I want for my kids is I want to be able to create good memories like that with them. I want to be able to, if they want to go swim in the ocean, I want to be able to swim. If they if they want to go sailing and I need to man the sails or whatever, I want to be able to do that. If they want to go for long walks through the woods, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to good create good, good memories with my kids. And I hope that as a dad, you would want that for your kids too. But you have to understand as well, that doesn't just happen. You have to be in shape when the opportunity arises. Because if you're overweight, 10, 15 years overweight already, and you, it's, it's a struggle for you to get to the refrigerator to get food, there's no way you're going to be able to do long walks in the park or long walks in the wood with your kid, right? So you want to handle that on the forefront so you can have memories with your kid on the back end and have that in reserve. So I wish that for you guys. I wish for you uh, fathers, especially to take your health seriously because of the providing and protecting part where you have to take care of your family, but also so you have the ability to make memories with your kids, to make really, really good memories. And I wish that for you. So that's the message for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.